All right, guys, Guns of Liberty here with Taylor's Homestead again, and today we're going to be talking about energy efficiency and lighting. So without further ado, Mr. Taylor, what have you done to this house to make it more efficient? Well, this is just an example that we're seeing up over our heads here. This track lighting system, if you, if you had, you know, 75 watt bulbs in each one of these spotlight bulbs, uh, this would probably be about five, 600 watts. Uh, of power to run this whole light strip. These are just put up here as an example as a test unit. These are all LED bulbs. Okay, each one of these bulbs only burns 9 watts. Okay, you're talking about a spotlight bulb that would normally burn 75 watts minimum burning only 9 watts. Okay, and we've done this to the whole entire house. To achieve energy efficiency or to be able to run off of a small gas power generator in case of power outage or even a solar panel system uh, that doesn't cover your whole entire roof okay this is what you have to do you have to change your lifestyle you have to change your energy usage and do away with those high energy um, products and units that that burn you up when your electric bill comes every month I'm going to turn these lights on you see how bright they are you can see how many light bulbs are up there. Okay, I'm going to tell you right now, that is 110 watts. 110 watts is nothing. The smallest power inverter that you can buy to go in your car, okay, to run a 110 volt outlet is probably a 110 watt power inverter. Okay, I can run all of these lights. So you can imagine, I don't need all of these lights in this room. One would do it. One would light this room. But you can imagine there's probably that many lights in my whole entire house. Okay, so this is a demonstration right now that I could light my whole entire house because this is how many bulbs it would take to light every room in my house on 110 watts of power. And you did this, you used the power meters on the solar panels. In fact, I'll even take a step in here. If you have not seen the other videos, there we go. Yeah, 108. That's called a kilowatt. Yeah, kilowatt meter. 108 on that one right there. So yeah. that's providing the power. That's, that's 108 for all these lights. watts. That's 108 watts of power that they're actually all those bulbs right there are using. So that just goes to show you. That's a test that will show you. Now we're going to step into the house here, and I'm going to show you some of the lighting that we have. And it doesn't change. It doesn't change the way you have to live. They're still just as bright. Um, the lights in the ceiling here um, are, these are low, low wattage fluorescents. And you'll see that when they come on, they come on a little bit dim. And as they warm up, they get brighter and brighter because they use such low power that it takes them a while to warm up and get to um, their total brightness. Here in the kitchen, you see the same thing. Okay, those are fluorescents. We have both fluorescents and LEDs. Now we have LED lights in here. We also have LED lights in here. And you see how bright they are. We can turn on every light in the whole entire house and it would run off of my solar uh, panels. And I could, I could actually turn the uh, power company meter off. You see these LED lights in my chandelier. That's a, that's actually a good little backstory I failed to mention. We, before this video started, switched the house over to solar panel power. So everything that we're doing right now is running off of 12 volt batteries through the inverters. Yeah, and then run off of these. I can turn every single light on in the house. I have lights outside. I have spotlights, motion lights, and everything. They're all solar powered. So I, I could have total blackout, the whole grid could go down and everything. And I'm sitting here and all of my neighbors are saying, how do you have power and we don't, we don't hear any generator running. Uh, you know, how are you doing this? So this is how we're doing it. Uh, we you change your lifestyle, you go out. I know it's a little bit more expensive to buy an LED bulb, but they are so such low wattage that you can run a hundred of them for one 100 watt bulb or whatever you know you can really be able to run just about anything off of a just a basic car battery 
and a power inverter, you could run your whole house. Yeah, because, I mean, right now, the, the security system's up, TV's yeah, the on, are, the internet is still working. That are running outside. So this is not this is not an off grid cabin where you're basically got you know no no air conditioning, no refrigeration, no you know heat, no anything. We have all the functions of a regular house. If you walked in this house right now, from anybody off the street, you would not know that all these lights are running free. Okay, they cost nothing to run, and so. That's this is how you can save energy and run off grid, pretty much, Spare. or at least uh, be able to, to reduce your footprint by over fifty percent. It's very impressive too with the the systems that are running in this house. This is one of the smaller systems I've seen as far as solar, and you know you've got a thousand watts of power of of solar panels for big batteries run in sequence and they're just it's a small system it's nothing really big or expensive it's not like you spent a lot of money to get this system going it's just the changes that you've made to this home you know between switching to gas um in fact that should be another video about the gas hot water heater and you know gas fireplaces not only that but the if check out my other video on the wood stove system that's being utilized in this house it is a completely uh, a separate room, an addition that was built onto the house, which the wood stove is housed in, pumps the hot air from the wood stove room into the rest of the house, an 1,800 square foot house. So that centralized location wood stove would not be very efficient. You would have cold rooms throughout the house. However, the way that this house is ducted and the system has been implemented, that wood stove room provides heat throughout the house evenly just like your heat pump would and that drastically reduces the amount of amount of energy and everything that you need and so you should check out that video that's an awesome system um, that's completely out of the the brain of Taylor's homestead just uh, really impressive stuff going on here so check out my other videos and have a great day hit that like button hit that subscribe button